a lot worse. A lot worse than this. I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. What, what have I put myself through? No, absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Just do it. Oh, the tension is killing me. I hate stuff like this. What's up, everybody? My name is Arbox. It's really late for me right now, but uh, it is the 30th of December, and, you know, I'm busy tomorrow, considering it is New Year's Eve, and I wanted to get a video out that would be, like, the first video of 2024, so I'm going to set this video to premiere or just release exactly at midnight of 2024. So I thought it was something new to do and I'd do it as a reaction video. So I don't have much to react to, we've got two videos. One was submitted to my Discord, which you can join in the, by the link uh, in the description below. And the second one I chose myself. So let's get into it. Happy 2024, by the way, to uh, the future, I guess. Considering this uh, video will obviously release at a future day. And then again, now that I think about it, all my videos release at a future date. Weird. Let's just start. Okay, so this first video is by Bodster. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's called FFD First Night Shift dot MOV for the VHS. Um, as far as I've seen from the thumbnail, it looks like Spring Trap or Spring Bonnie at the door. Description does say 1981. Mark is returning here again to record evidence of robot aggression, but why not show the previous cassette to the pizzeria employees? Strange. Maybe they die. Own. Let's find out. So I'm going to make the assumption 81 is probably Fred Bears, not Fast Bears Fry. Hello? Got a phone call. Oh, it's not you. often you get What's these up, in uh, Mark? FNAF oh, tips anymore. Hey. Uh, how to go with Fred Bears? Oh, a fucking nightmare to say the least. Let me guess, they started walking? Well, the bunny thing literally chased me out of the building. Oh, shit. All that, Jesus. and I didn't even find any clues about Jason. That was not worth it at all. Well, you recorded it, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Now listen, I need you to meet me at my place with the tape as soon as you can. The friend I was talking about, uh, his name's Reggie. He's on the maintenance team and he can help figure out why Bonnie was aggressive towards you. That thing has a name? Yeah, <laughs> Red Baron Bonnie. That, is weird. that thing has a name, it's literally an animatronic dude. Tape. Well, it's evident. They performed right? kids, of course, well, they have a yeah, name. I'm gonna turn this jail, up, by man. the way. Why? What happened? Well, let me Actually, I'll turn that off from my headset. Door to the place anymore. God, what did you do to the door? Well, I had to kick it down. They could have killed me. <laughs> okay, then. I'll just call on myself or something and, uh, wait, hold on. Mark is a real one for that. Idea. And what's that? Well, they've been looking for a guy to take the night shift to Fred Bears. Maybe you could fill the role. Oh, no way. I am not going back to that death <laughs> Yeah, absolutely you not. Especially not after what you just said. Well, of course not. Here's my idea. You bring your camera to work, and if the animatronics act hostile towards you again, record it and show it to maintenance. Trust me, they're more likely Fair to enough. side with a security guard than a random trespasser. Well, damn. You know what, James? You've got a point. I'm going to have to think about that. Take your time. All right. Good night, man. Good night. This is so casual. Voice acting was good because it felt natural okay, as well. First night on the job and, uh, here we are. What happened to the audio levels there? First we had like a decent amount of just casual talking through the phone. And then when it's not on the phone, it's actually in person going through the cameras. Okay, so we're talking into a pillow. Like... <laughs> uh, I thought I'd go ahead and record my shift too, just for, uh, Sounds like he's uh, coming through a radio, uh, but the last thing was the phone call. So this is my new office. Uh, pretty cool place, eh? I can barely see it. Um, I'm not sure if that was inspired by me. I don't want to take credit, but that's what I that's what I did in my grand reopening tape. Uh, when the phone rang, I had it be a jump scare, as there's always like this idea that the phone just rings and it would stall you. So I don't know if you're in my Discord and you watch my videos and that was inspiration, but yeah, cool. Oh, I like the way they turned on the sound design there is good too. Typing on the keyboards. Seems good, seems good. I can't see anything. I see the cam number, cam 2, or cam 3, I can't tell if you are the way. But I can't see anything. 
No. It is so dark. So, uh, it's about three okay. going good so far. Oh, famous lost That was like that mark of me. Here he goes. Oh, the first night's never usually that bad, so then he gets jump scared. I should also notice he closed the door, so he must have noticed. Oh. Okay, I like the fact that they feel thumpy, like heavy metal, but almost ra like rattly at the same time, like cheaply made. So, with Jury Creation, I know they were very heavy and thumpy. They felt like they could literally crush you by accidentally, like, stepping on you. But these things, they sound like they've got a lot of weight, but the joints aren't, like, they're quite loose. You can hear the rattle to them, which makes sense yeah, considering how old they are. Like, not old as in in this, they've been around for a long time, but old as in the technology that was around during early 80s. At least in the FNAF universe, since technology jumped so fast in the FNAF world. He just disappeared. He was just out of there. Power outage. Really? Oh, well, that's quite cool. I like how big he is. That's creepy. He's gonna jump scare me. I know he is. So that's Fred Holden. So this is probably why he didn't get the cassette. Just shoot him. Oh, okay. We left on a bit of a cliffhanger. Uh, one comment I will say if you're watching this, um, I do like to give constructive criticism. I will say the only thing, it was too dark. Way too dark. I couldn't actually make out what was happening except from the three monitors. Um, and I feel like it just needs a bit more ambient lighting. Other than that, it's good. And the story worked well. You had a phone call at the start to, you know, build up into the story. You didn't just shove it all into the description like I do. You actually told it, you know, within the video but yeah not no no more comments from me that was just fantastic i'm a i'm gonna move on swiftly though because like i say it is very late for me okay so this one's by a very very famous creator meme bear uh, now this one's just called red and then a bunch of numbers so i'm not going to read out the full title but blah 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 dot avi so in the description they've just like said the models are by these people map and the foxy voiced by them so let's just Check it out. Let's see what we're in for. It's only a short one, but I'm sure it'll be great. Okay, it's dead silent. I don't like that. Okay, there we go. Oh, the classic FNAF 1 camera sounds, the zoom and stuff. I wish that in that moment they had the camera like shifting, like blurring and then focusing again. Like the camera's actually trying to focus. I don't like how we're coming back to this and it's dead silent. It's going to come through that door and it's going to come through fast. The one animatronic who was fast, just answering my call. Oh. I like how they've deepened it as well. It's just really good. It's a lot worse. A lot worse than the games. I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. What, what have I put myself through? Why do they keep coming back coming back to this damn door? It's gonna burst through the door at some point. I don't like it. Yeah, he's gone because he's at that door. I can hear him walking close, so the sound design is really well done. Surround sound everything. No, absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Just do it. Oh, the tension is killing me. I hate stuff like this. What do we do, Foxy? What do we do with the drunken sailor? The he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Foxy, can you please just kill me already? They're leaving the door to let your guard down. This is so creepy and so well done. Oh, and he's gone, prepared to rush at me. Oh my god, can, Foxy, can you please kill me? Oh, that, that made me let my heart sink a little bit there. That was creepy. Oh, whoa! That's cool, I like that. 
I love this blurred imagery. Oh, it's so cool. Felt very, um... Oh, it's the end of the video now, anyways. It felt very, like, early 2010s, late 2000s, with the kind of aesthetic of the ending. Like, I know the date is probably, like, 90-something, but, um... The ending with this pixelated imagery really reminds me of that creepypasta era. But yeah, this bit here, when the face come up, made my heart sink a little bit. This is a cool shot. Obviously, it's William Afton in the suit. Uh, presumably based upon him being here and him being here, it's William luring uh, Fritz, who we believe to be the spirit within Foxy. This scene, maybe it's like the game over screen. It's just like Foxy's now killed us and we've been stuffed into this suit. But it's not obviously been made super clear. But I like this left up to uh, interpretation. It's quite cool. Maybe this is what Fritz saw. Maybe he walked through that hallway, followed Springtrap, and then he just saw this. Because obviously Springtrap had stuffed the previous dead child into Freddy. And then Foxy maybe came off that. And he just witnessed this and he knew he was doomed. And then he was shoved in just here. But yeah, I like that. I was absolutely terrified of the jump scare. Like, him just boosh through, and the way how silent it was, it was horrific. Um, great job. I mean, I, I expect a good job from Mean Bear anyways. They, they're a fantastic creator overall. They've got loads of great videos. But yeah, I'll do it for this video. I know it was a short one, but I've really got to edit this and either head to bed or edit this in the morning before I've got stuff to do, because it is New Year's Eve, and we're moving into 2024, which just sounds weird it sounds and even looks wrong it just looks sci-fi but it's 2024 anyways hope you guys enjoy this video happy new year to all of you watching this and i hope you had a merry christmas of course uh, nothing else to say oh i don't know if i've had a video post 100k so i'll just say it now thank you so much for 100k it's absolutely insane um i still haven't hung up my plaque i actually have a neon sign of the Valox logo. Um, I did post it on my Instagram, which you can follow me on there. I believe the link's in the description. And if you don't find it there, it'll be on the Discord under socials. But yeah, uh, the neon sign is sick. It like, on camera, it appears white with like this red lighting around it. You know, how a neon sign looks, but then in real life, it's just a really, really bright red. Looks great. I hope I can show you soon. I just need to figure out my background situation because I don't know where I'm going to put it since my chair is central. You know, I can't lower the camera or even putting it up makes it go too high. This, obviously, I can't put it on these things like these tiles. So I got a lot of working out to do with where I sit and how I display things. Maybe a green screen behind. Whatever. Thank you for watching. Take care.